How effective is ProStem treatment? Before we talk about ProStem success rates, it's very important to know the azoospermia types and describe both obstructive and non-obstructive azoospermia. Obstructive azoospermia means azoospermia due to a blockage. In this case, the problem can be treated and reversed with microsurgery. Patients with obstructive azoospermia cannot use the ProStem treatment to solve this problem and need to consult a doctor. In cases of non-obstructive azoospermia, medical treatment can help only some patients to develop ejaculated sperm. Usually those patients have problems producing hormones. We call this problem secondary testicular failure. Also in this case, patients cannot use ProStem treatment to solve the problem and need to seek hormone therapy. In most instances, however, the problem is called primary testicular failure. The only hope for building a biological family is to use sperm retrieved from the testes with assisted reproduction in the form of IVF and ICSI. In addition, recognized clinical features like testicular size, serum FSH level, or biopsy reading do not accurately predict whether or not sperm will be recovered from the testes. ProStem is the only fertility supplement that is designed based on our scientific research to support primary testicular failure. ProStem is a patented formula and is protected under U.S. and international laws. ProStem is a new option for treatment of non-obstructive azoospermia. ProStem aims to recover sperm production in semen and avoid sperm retrieved from the testes. In addition, ProStem aims to increase the success rate of sperm retrieved from the testes when the sperm count is found to be zero after the ProStem treatment. In a clinical trial, 93 patients suffering from non-obstructive azoospermia used the ProStem treatment for six months. After six months of treatment, 23% of patients successfully produced sperm in the semen with a sperm count ranging from 10 sperm to millions of them. In 25% of the patients, they didn't find any sperm in the semen, but they were successful in retrieving sperm from the testes for IVF and ICSI. In 52% of the cases, the treatment failed to fix the problem and no sperm was found in semen or by surgery. Success of the treatment depends largely on the cause of your zoospermia problem. For example, Y chromosome microdeletions, genetic infertility due to abnormal karyotype, or unexplained genetic infertility reduce the success rate of ProStem treatment. We highly recommend trying ProStem treatments before undergoing surgery. Please contact us at info at for a free consultation.